What is up, YouTube? That's here, and today I'm super excited to be bringing you guys some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl 6v6 singles Wi Fi battles. Holy moly, do I like playing singles battles! I've been playing just a little bit of VGC, you've been seeing me upload some VGC content. And it just feels so good to make a really, really good, well-balanced singles team that has good offensive typing, good defensive, sorry, yeah, offensive and defensive typing, to where anything you do forces your opponent into a pin. Today's team, for example, I love this Tentacruel. It's so anti-meta. If Garchomp's weak against an Ice Attack or a Fairy Attack, switch in your Tentacruel. If your Tentacruel's weak to something like a Ground Attack, uh, switch in to one of your two Levitators, or maybe a Psychic Attack, which are usually special attached. Switch into your Blissey. Blissey's weak against Fighting Attack, switch back into Tentacruel. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This team almost plays itself. I want to direct you guys to the question today, and that is, what's the best thing you've got going on in your life at the moment you know for me i want to say it's probably singles battles because i love playing singles but uh yeah let me know what's the best thing you have going on right now you're reading any good books uh, are you excited about like a new job uh, did you get a good grade on a test let me know what's going on in your life that's amazing i will say i've also been skateboarding a ton there's a link in the description to my skateboarding channel if you want to check out my skateboarding progress i would really really appreciate if you guys check that out drop a sub there um, i don't really like to promote those other channels that often but i'm trying to get that channel to a thousand subs so if you guys want to check that out i would really really appreciate it now that i'm done selling out we're going to go hop into some games and see if we can take some people to the blender, to the dumpster with Tentacruel. Here we go. Holy legendaries, Batman. We see Latios and Heatran. That's going to be really hard to deal with. And they have like Hitmontop as a spinner. It's a pretty cool team. I think Tentacruel can be really good. It's good versus Heatran. It's good versus Straptor in certain situations. It's okay versus Gyarados. Uh, it's great versus Clefable. Great versus Hitmontop. So if we can, every single time they have something like Clefable or Hitmontop or even Heatran out, we can just bring in the Tentacruel and be a bully. So that's what we're going to be trying to do here. I want to get my rocks up, and I don't think they're going to defog me. So I'm going to lead Azelf, as weird as that sounds. And if they lead something like Latios, we'll just rapid spin out. Sorry, we'll just U-turn out. So I think Azelf's going to be a pretty decent lead for us here. And I will say, if we can get that uh, Latios off the board... We can be a bit of a bully with Garchomp. I think Alexam's also pretty decent here. Being able to outspeed that Latios by about, um, you know, 10 base speed is really, really nice. So I can hit it with like a super effective Dazzling Gleam or Shadow Ball. So let's see. The Heatran's up here versus Azelf. Do I care? I mean, they're just going to rocks, right? So like, I'm just going to rocks too. We'll just trade rocks and then we'll U-turn. I mean, I don't care if they hit us. Like, I, I really do not care if they hit us with this. So like, if they just want to go for like a lava plume now flash cannon flamethrower all those things now uh, magma storm would suck that's what it is and of course they do hit us so we're gonna lose our azulf right here actually we're gonna barely keep it maybe maybe we'll have like one survey says yeah we take those are you gonna have protect bro i can't switch that's the effect of magma storm so my best effect actually is to just u-turn right here so let's see if they have protect that'd be kind of sick all right cool well, looks like we have to keep the azulf which is kind of nice not that we realistically need it, but it's great for checking, like, Gyarados and Straptor mid-game. So, keeping that's pretty dope. What are they going to do? Rocks? I'll go into Tentacruel and get my first big pin of the game. And we're probably just going to go for a Scald here. I think Scald's good versus most of these. I could even Rabbit Spin if I expect the Latios to come in. Flash Cannon, yeah, we take these. So, Heatran, big set. No Rocks on this guy yet. And we're going to see Lefties on it. That was a crit, never lucky. So, this guy's hit Magma Storm. Crit with a flash cannon. Talk about never lucky right now. And it looks like no lefties. Okay, is it Shuka probably then? That's fine. I'm just going to go for a Scald. And I'll fight that Clefable if they want to bring it in. I will fight the Clefable. I know they're going to switch. Probably going to be switching into like Latios. And that's fine. I'll even fight the Gyarados potentially. Maybe we'll get the burn on it. I know you're switching though. So what are we going to see come in here? Gyarados would be super greedy. Because like if I get the burn on the Scald, like you're so sad. If I get the burn here, you are the saddest person I've ever seen. So, let's see it. Survey says, I might even just stand in Sludge Wave, because, like, you took that Rocks damage, too. Burn it! Burn it! Let's go. Ooh, never lucky. And their lefties. How much do I care? I have a Zam to get me out of dodge if I need it. I can switch in my Rotom. I think, yeah, you, got, you, just, you just switch in Rotom here. They don't have any ground types. So, we just switch Rotom in hard. Um, no matter what they do, if they Dragon Dance, oh, we'll be able to Volt Switch against it. We're still in a really good position, I think. Um, we can just re recreate this exact same pin 
every single time. So it's gonna be really, really nice. Every single time we see the Heatran, every, sound, every single time we see the Hitmon top, all those things. Yo, EQ, ain't never even heard of it. We take those all the way to the bank. You do get leftovers procs here. Um, you're probably gonna be switching to maybe your Heatran, maybe your Cliff Fable here. But like, that's fine. I don't think that that's the biggest of deals for me. I'm gonna Volt Switch out because I'd rather go into something like Tentacruel and then repin if you hard switch to your Cliff Fable here. So you should be switching. You should be switching. If you fought to the Gyarados, you're running out of things to switch in on Scalds. So that's very, very nice for me. The, like, double water core is just super, super solid on my side. So let's see it. Go Fable. There it is, just like we said. So we're going to Volt Switch here, do some damage. They're going to get a Lefties proc after a Rocks tick. And we'll go right to our Tentacruel and just be a big bully. Like, a really big bully. Like, the biggest bully the world's ever seen. And remember, there are Rocks up. You can't just switch in all day on these things. So we're in a really good spot. Even though I would say their team is a whole nother level above mine in terms of like what a competitive team should look like. It has Clefable, it has Heatran, it has Latios. Um, we're still holding our own. And uh, we can just go for a Sludge Whip here. I do not care if they want to switch into Heatran, like at all. Right, do I not care? I could Scald it, I guess. No, I'll go for the Sludge Wave. It might get the KO, it might not. I can go Sludge Wave and then a Scald if I really wanted to as well. Gotta respect my stab poison attacks right now i'm so big oh i'm so big in this tentacruel let's see it the heatran switch would kind of suck if they hit us with another magma storm and trap us and then go for like an earth power if that crits we're in a bad spot who's coming in is it really heatran hit on top that's totally fine sludge wave only has a 10 percent chance of poison it's a little bit stronger than sludge bomb but let's see how much damage we're actually getting here let's see i'm not afraid of hit on top at all they could totally rapid spin me i don't think that really matters like, that's a lot of damage. I'm, I'm gonna go for a Scald here. And then I'll just try to reapply that same Stealth Rocks pin a little bit later on in the game once this Hitmon tops down. And then they're just out of Mons other than potentially like a Straptor or Latios with Defog to get rid of our uh, Hazards. And we'll be in a good spot. So they're gonna have to Rapid Spin here, right? So I'm gonna take this time to just go for a Scald, try and get a Burn. It's a little bit weaker, but if we get the Burn, it's more than worth it. Please don't, uh, please don't kill me, bro. Yo, there's the Burn. We take those. Awesome. There's a Rapid Spin. I kind of want a Rapid Spin as well, just because, like, I know I get a speed boost off of it, so I want to be able to check that Latios when it comes in. But we'll see. I still have a, a, Once we actually take out, like, this Pokemon, the Gyarados and the, the Staraptor, they're out of Pokemon that can hit our Blissey. I think I brought Blissey. Did I not bring Blissey in this game? We're going to check right now. Survey says I probably brought my Blissey. I always do. At least that Blissey, we're good. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Should I Scald again? I'll Sludge Wave again. There's nothing really wrong with Sludge Waving here. Just because it's more damage. And you might switch in with something like Gyarados or something. And I'd love to do more damage to your Gyarados. So show me that Alley G Gyarados, baby. And let's see what you're working with. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. Let me know the best thing in your life right now. You can't just be fodder in your head. Okay, good. Good play. Good play. Is it really Heatran? Latios. This is so good for me. I thought I was going to Scald. And this is neutral damage. I only really have to hit like two attacks into this Latios to be able to actually KO it. I'd love a poison too. Yeah. That's a little bit greedy. Only 10% chance on that. But we are back up full, which is really nice. We're just going to hard switch right and do our Blissey. And then Blissey can just go for an Ice Beam. Yeah, we're fine versus most of these. Yeah, good thing Latios doesn't get Psy Shock in this game. Holy moly. Call mine sub might be a little bit problematic on this Latios, but I think we can definitely handle it. So there's Psychic. Yeah, we don't care about that. We could probably also eat that Psychic. Our Tentacruel is still super bulky. That's going to be Specs, by the way, or Life Orb. Specs or Life Orb. We can actually see there's a damage multiplier there. We see them take the Life Orb damage. And so that's great. Um, if they have, like, Recover and stuff like that, it might be a little bit dicey. But I still think we're going to be alright just going for Ice Beam. A lot of their mons take big damage from Ice Beam, and I don't care if they want to switch to Heatran and get their own rocks up. I'll just force myself to go into Clefable. So we're going to go for an Ice Beam if they go into Heatran, we'll go for Thunders. And I think we're all right here. I don't think we're bad here. You're burned. You're burned. So it's like, good luck, Chuck. I can go right back into my Tentacruel if you want. I can switch right in on that CC. Like, Tentacruel's a bully against the meta. I, I've never... I, I'm just so excited to use Tentacruel right now. I think it's such a good Pokemon. We actually have to switch, though. Um, I can't take this damage on Blissey. Because Blissey is the one Pokemon you have to switch in on Heatran and Latios all game. So we have to actually switch out. As much as I'd want to stay in, we gotta switch. 
I only have my one rock setter, so like I can't just bother my eyes off here either. Just go right into the tentacruel. I wonder if they're gonna go for a double switch back into their Latios and recreate the same pin that they had on my Blissey. Yeah, might work, might not. They ended up bothering some health on their hip on top to do it, so let's see. Low sweep. That, is, that, that normally drops speed, doesn't matter, we have clear body. Or is that the one, that's the one the waste spot that's based off weight, I think. Either way, Tentacruel does not care. And I'm afforded the luxury of like having another big pin here. I think I'm gonna scald this time. Because I think there's a slight chance that Heatran comes in, because they the past couple times, ooh, we could even think about going for ice or for rapid spin just to give us a speed boost, make us outspeed the rest of their stuff. I'll just go for the scald. We don't need the speed boost from rapid spin just yet, but show me that Heatran and I'll show you a good time. Gyarados. Ooh, give me a scald, please give me a scald. Can I get a hot tub scald, please? Do you just see how well we have this person pinned, like, all game? We have so many good defensive switches to go to. And it doesn't really ever matter what they get when we get a burn. That's two times no burn. And they're they're leftovers, so they don't have a lump. Man, that's Lex. All right, it's fine. We'll just go Rats Rotom. And again, our Rotom's made to outspeed Gyarados. So no matter what they do, we just go right into the exact same, like, mixer blender we put them in the, like, four turns ago. Their Latios is low HP. Their Hitmontop's burned in low HP. Yes, they did get rid of Rocks. But, like, we haven't really taken damage. They're going to have to pull something out of their hat to come back in this one. They might have to go for a double swap into something that pins my Rotom here, but, like, none of their mons pin my Rotom. Like, at all. Rotom outspeeds their Latios. Rotom outspeeds their Sraptor unless it's Scarfed. Rotom pins their Heatran. Um, they are going for the double switch. This is the right play. Maybe straight into the Cofable? Staraptor. I will I will just fight your Staraptor, bro. I'll just fight you. This is, this is fine. Do I need to Volt Switch, though? Let's see. If I were to Volt Switch and they were Scarfed, I have to send out something, and then they'd be stuck using, like, Close Combat. So I could just send out Tentacruel if they're choice. Yeah, so I'll Volt Switch here. Volt Switch is still the right play. We don't need to stand in Thunderbolt. I don't want to stand in Thunderbolt. All right, so they are Scarfed. Cool. So that's why I'm also using Volt Switch here, because, like, they're, they would obviously be using either U-Turn or Close Combat there. If they locked themselves in Close Combat, we could just bring in, like, Alakazam or uh, Tentacruel in that situation, and we'd be in a really good spot. But they're going to be Choice Staraptor, and now we know they're choiced. We know that they're choiced. And I think they know that I'm choiced as well. Probably just because they're playing against professional famous YouTuber. That's a plus one. But who do they want to come in and soak this damage with? If we go right to the Clefable, we go right back out to the um, Tentacruel and just repeat, repeat the same pin we put them on a little while back. That Gyarados has taken a lot more huts. Um, yeah, there's the Clefable here. So this Clefable will probably go down to a Sludge Wave after this Volt Switch. We could even bring an Azelf, I think. That's okay. No, I'm, I'm fine with the uh, Tentacruel here. I don't think it's a problem with this at all. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Wave. If you wanna bring in your Heatran and fight my Tentacruel, like, be my guest. I bet you have Earth Power, but I think I outvalue you. Because even if you switch in on, like, a Sludge Wave, if I just switched up and start going for Scalds, I should outspeed your Heatran, and then I should 2-3 to three shot you, and I don't think Earth Power is a 2-3 to three shot. Especially because we know you don't have leftovers. So let's go for Sludge Wave. It's literally free real estate. Switching that Gyarados, take that damage. We'll switch right to the Rotom. We'll do the exact same pin over again. And that's fine with me. I have no problem with that. Yep, go for the switch to the Clefable. Should we Heatran this time? There it is. Cool, we already talked about this happening. I think we're going to be okay here. Um, it's probably a Shuka Heatran. And I think that we outvalue Earth Power Heatran. It might be some sort of like Expert Belt Heatran or Wide Lens Heatran. But I think we're okay. Like, Tentacruel is really bulky. Like I said, Tentacruel has a base 100 speed. It outspeeds these guys. This is going to be a three shot for me. And let's see how much damage they do to us. So, it's a rough. So, if any of us. If, remember, you can't wear my stats. I, I have a clear body. So, you need to crit me with Earth Power. And once we get this Heatran out of the way, it's going to be a lot easier to use Alakazam. So, like, the fact they're actually just taking this damage is not good for them. They might switch in Gyarados this turn. I think they're going to realize this is, a, this is not a good look for them. And remember, every single time they switch in that Gyarados, they risk getting burned and risk losing the game for it. Show them the Gyarados. This is my third Scald into this slot, bro. Third time's the charm. And here we go. Can I get a burn? Can I get a hot tub? Come on. Can I get a hot tub? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I am talking about. It's like Gyarados is just hot garbage now. We do not have to respect it at all anymore. I'm obviously not just going to stand and eat um, like a big damaging move. Uh, I will probably switch to... This is a good time to bring in Garchomp, I would say. Because if they wanted to go for Earthquake, it'd, do, it'd let me get a free sub up. 
then they'd have to have like potentially have ice fang they're probably also just switching to staraptor or something and they are fast enough so they would switch first they'd intimidate our tentacruel which doesn't work and then we'd switch in our garchomp to check their staraptor and repin in that situation so that's good for us as well this is a great this is a great situation for us we're just completely in control you love to see it people say that the game can get boring when you use the same team every game and i feel like a lot of people you know, haven't been watching my content as much because I use a lot of the same mons. But that doesn't mean that, like, when I fight other good players that have good teams, that I can't go to, like, that next step and play the game even better. So the fact they're staying in is going to be weird. D-Dance. That's fine. They're really just D-Dancing in my face. All right. Hey, go for it. Shoot your shot, Chief. Um, yeah, we got to stay in here, though. So they're going to be able to outspeed my Chomp. And so we saw Earthquake. We saw D-Dance. We have to assume they have Waterfall right they shouldn't have ice fang and even if they do i don't think a plus one burned one would ko me waterfall yeah shouldn't do it at all that's just i mean that's not gonna do anything you know um rough skins up they should be able to take this guy up from uh that dragon claw here there it is awesome so now that their gyarados is down what do they have to switch in on scald they don't have any solid switches anymore we can just click the scald button every single time tentacle comes out and recreate the same pins we're gonna see latios or Staraptor maybe coming, maybe even Clefable. We'll go right to Blissey, and then we're going to be absolutely fine. It's like, it's showing this team's pretty well made, at least in my opinion. But let's see. Beating down those good legendary mons. Like, I wish I had Latios, man. If I had a Latios, holy moly, y'all wouldn't be ready. The only way they actually play around this is, like, by double switching into, like, Staraptor, and then force me to switch again. And in reality, I, d I don't think that's that bad for me because eventually, like, because you have a choice, Mon, I would just switch in my Rotom. Yeah, they're making the right play. This is the right play. Switch in Straptor. Go for it. Like, you think I haven't seen this before? I literally just called you doing this. So they're going to switch in your Straptor. I'm going to switch my Blissey. What they're going to do is they're going to be in a situation where they could click, like, Close Combat. They can click uh, Brave Bird. They can click U-Turn. They can click all those things to try to regain board control. And remember, we had to exude a lot of resources to take that first KO on Gyarados. Now that that's over, we're going to be completely fine once we can safely get our Rotom out of the board. So. We don't want to fodder our Blissey. We don't want to fodder our Rotom. I would say that means Garchomp is probably the Pokemon that we need the least in this situation. Just, it realistically is. We don't need Garchomp that much. So yeah, I'll just switch out to Garchomp. It'll do some chip damage. Um, if you want to close combat me, I might not die. You have to do two, cl two close combat hits. And you would take rough skin damage on both of them. And then I just send out my Rotom and get the get the pin. Or you go for Brave Bird. You take Recoil and rough skin. And since you're Scarfed, I'm surprised that killed me. So you must be adamant scarfed. You're adamant scarfed. It's probably... Is it reckless? I don't think we saw Intimidate. But yeah, it's fine. Like, look at all that damage. It's so much damage. Um, we're just going to come in with Rotom here. And remember, you're watching a Brave Bird. So you're using a bad move. So you have a Heatran that's low. A Latios that's getting low. A Clefable that's taken a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt this time because like at this point, I can just be a big bully. Your Heatran can't switch in on me as easily anymore. Your Hitmontop can't switch in on me anymore. Your Mons are starting to get chipped. They're starting to get just a little bit low, low, low. And remember, I haven't even shown the Alakazam that's gonna come out late game once the Straptor's gone and just sweep everyone up. So we're still in an absolutely amazing spot. But they did a really good job like switching into the Straptor and pinning my Blissey. So it shows that they're like a really competent player that knows what they're doing. Uh, it's just that, like, I'm really ready for players that want to use, like, Clefable, Latios, Heatran. I'm just, my team's super ready for it. Like, Tentacruel's, like, such a good anti-metamon. And so let's see, let's see who they're actually choosing. Latios is probably their best option, because it doesn't, like, die. Um, but the thing is, like, you can only switch in on this, like, two-ish more times. And if I would have got a pair, the game would have been over. I do not want to eat this Life Orb move. I want you to take as much Life Orb damage as possible. I'm going to go to my Blissey. Again, you could totally switch in your Staraptor, but... After you just switch the Staraptor in, I actually don't need to keep my Blissey in anymore because your Latios is going to be too low to switch in on a Thunderbolt after this, after one more Life Orb tick. So, like, thank you. I appreciate you. Yo, thank you so much. That Life Orb tick basically makes so you can't switch in on Thunderbolt anymore. Um, so, good thing they don't have lefties. Sorry, not lefties. Uh, lefties and Recover, I guess. We're just going to go for... Um, do I need the Ice Beam? I'm probably going to just Thunder. Because, like, the Heatran's going to come in. And I just want to be able to dumpster that heatran i do not care about your latios i would only care about your heatran so show me that heatran i don't care about hitmontop either yeah Clefable, that works for me easy peasy can we get a para para let's go big deeps no para though never lucky okay what are they gonna do with this the battle will end in three minutes i didn't even think this game was gonna go to time 
but we do have a mon advantage going into the later stages of this game. We have one mon down. Oh, we're, we're tied. Hmm. Yeah, we just switch in a uh, tentacle here. Tentacle switches on anything Clefable does. And it looks like they're not switching. They're staying in. They might be going for rocks here. If they want a rocks, I'm actually thinking about rapid spinning. Moonlight, that's fine. Yeah, you can't do that many things in this situation. You get your Moonlight off. I'll go for a Sludge Wave. Heatran can't... We already talked about Heatran can't realistically switch in on these anymore. So we're fine. I wish this game didn't have to go to time. This is probably one of the first games that, like, I really feel that, like, time... It sucks that time's going to stop a good game. Because I would have been able to play probably another 30 turns of this game before winning. Where I would still probably win unless something weird happens. Yeah, we're just going to go for a Sludge Wave here. Switching in probably Heatran. The only way we lose, I think, is if Heatran crits the Earth Power, like, right here. If Heatran crits the Earth Power, we obviously lose. Because the, the pin here that we've created is you have to go into Heatran to cover your Clefable. But you have no Pokemon to realistically go to to eat these Scalds. Gyarados was your option. It wasn't a good option, but it was your option. So they're going for they're gonna switch in the latches here. See how much they're switching now? And again, we can just go back into the Blissey, right? And we can create the same pin over and over again. You're the one that's taking damage on Mons that can't really recover that health. And if we get a burn here, never lucky. Oh, you would have ticked out from your life orb. So again, you can totally do the thing where um, I'm chilling here. Can I just eat this life orb? Like psychic? I'm thinking it. I think they're gonna go to Staraptor right now. They're gonna go to Staraptor, and like I could switch to a couple different things in this situation. They're they're going to Staraptor here, right? You know what? I'm gonna stay in. I think they're going to Staraptor because they're gonna expect my pussy. It's almost like I play the game. Like I don't have to stay in and deal with this. You deal with this. You take that L, yo. I'm just gonna. That's you went for four switches, bro. It's like what do you want me to do? You can take the biggest L you ever seen, and we take those all the way to the bank. That was your only win count was going to Straptor in that situation. And I'm like, you know what? Eventually, I don't have to deal with that, all right? They're probably thinking, like, uh, I could have just psychic It's like, well, then you should have, you know? Maybe you should just psychic. Maybe maybe you should run leftovers or some sort of recovery move so you don't get pinned. But, uh, yeah, this one's going to be over. All we do is just go over to Blissey, and this one is done. Very, very good game, though. This guy had a very good team. He had Staraptor, Latios, Heatran, Clefable, Gyarados, and Hitmontop. It's just very, very solid. And uh, we're, we're going to definitely take the last, like, minute just to chill here. But we, we are going to take this one. What we do here is we go to Blissey. He can't break Blissey anymore. We soft build on the Switch, and there's no way that they'd ever be able to break the Blissey. Like, uh, we can do it right now. Let's go to the Blissey, see what happens. What you got, Chief? You got the Draco? You gonna drop the crit Draco on my Blissey? I shouldn't even have to give him this turn. I don't have to give him this turn. Psychic. That is not it. That ain't it, Chief. And they're ticking out even further. But their team's very well made. And uh, I think it's a good example of what most, like, OU teams look at on, like, the higher part of the ladder. So, uh, pretty good first game. Even though it did go to time. Very, very good first game. And uh, I'm just so happy with the way... Tentacruel works. Holy moly, Tentacruel, best Pokemon the world has ever seen. I love to see more Heatran action. This one also has a Scizor and a Suicune. Suicune's gonna be hard to break. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to deal with. Uh, I want to say I should have to get that Garchomp off the board. And then once I get Garchomp off the board, it's gonna enable us to use Rotom correctly. But yeah, Tentacruel still good in this situation. If I expect them to switch in Garchomp, I can Rapid Spin to outspeed the Garchomp and then just Ice Beam it. So we're also in a pretty good spot there. Um, I want to get my rocks up early. They're gonna that, that would force in the scissor. I don't really like dealing with scissor. I guess I don't need rocks up early. Hmm. I think they're gonna lead with Heatran. I'm just gonna lead with Tentacruel then. I think Tentacruel is just a super good mon to use against a lot of these. So let's just go with Big Tentacruel, man. And again, if we also take out something like Scizor and Heatran, we just sweep the game with Alkazam. So we have a lot of shots to win this one. But yeah, there's a lot of people using Heatran right now. Heatran's super good. I wish I had one. <laughs> I just don't have like any Pokemon. I gotta wait for Pokemon Bank. So Gengar. Weeding off first Tentacruel, huh? Gengar gets access to like Thunderbolt and Psychic. But I can probably eat those. It's still a better idea though. Just a hard switch to a Blissey in this situation. Just a better idea to go to Blissey. Straight up into the Blissey. Easy peasy lemon Blissey. And uh, I don't want to deal with anything. So let's see it. 
Yeah, Thunderbolt, it's completely fine. We, we need to preserve your tentacles health. It's really, really important. And uh, in this situation, we have one free turn. They have Scizor, and they have like Garchomp. There's a ton of things we can hit. I'd love to go for Thunder to paralyze this Gengar, but I'd love to get that free KO on Garchomp if I expect them to switch it in. I think I am going to Ice Beam. Um, just because I think there's a slight chance they want to switch in the Garchomp to block a potential Thunder Wave. Most Blissies would Thunder Wave here. I'm really, really surprised they're staying in. Like, I'm super surprised they're staying in. Um, they should not be staying in. They're probably going to want to go for, like, a Destiny Bomb play then. And uh, in this situation, that's fine. They might even switch in Garchomp now that it's Cursed Body. Uh, let's see. Should we just Flamethrower here then? It's Thunder. Because Flamethrower could 20% chance burn the Garchomp because of a Serene Grace. I'm going for, I'm fine going for Thunder. It won't KO. So even if they have Destiny Bomb, it won't work. And then they're trying to get a poison on us. I understand. It's 30% chance, so they're a little bit never lucky right now. Like, what are the same percent chance I had to miss my thunder was the same percent chance they had to uh to mess us up. There's a para. I'm gonna soft boiled here. Might not be the best idea. But they still do outspeed our blissies. So um they should outspeed our blissies still. So we're just gonna go for a soft boiled. And if they want a destiny bond, it'll mess up the way they want to do it. Ooh, I could have just killed him. I thought I, I thought I was slower. So they're they're modest Gengar, which is uh different. But show me that Destiny Bomb, bro. Show it to me. Show me D-Bomb. Show it to me. Yeah, there it is. I, I didn't let that one happen. So the way Destiny Bomb works is the next move that's used after Destiny Bomb, if it KOs them, you know, uh, I die too. So that means we just don't want to use any of these damaging attacks. We just want to click Soft Boiled. Or we can switch. They're going to be Sludge Bombing. There's nothing wrong with going into Tentacruel, right? If we go into Tentacruel... And we get the KO. That would force them to come in with Garchomp. I think it's Garchomp. I would switch into Rotom. That's actually like not amazing, but it, it's okay. That's fine. But we don't we don't want to just proc a Destiny Bond. We don't want to get dead. <laughs> we can kind of save the Blissey. I think it's all right. So we're just gonna go for. Ooh, they're paralyzed too. We don't have to take any damage. It'd be really really nice to rapid spin here. But um, we'll just go for a Scald, because we want our Ice Beam still active in case we need it. So we're just going to go for a standard Scald here. And we definitely outspeed with Tentacruel if Blissey outspeeds. So taking out this Gengar's big. It should force the Garchomp out. That We can switch into something like Azelf, set some rocks, U-turn out, slash Psychic. Psychic's going to be pretty decent in this matchup too. They actually want to stand on the Garchomp and soak it. They're saving that Gengar for later, probably just a fodder. So this is fine. Please don't lose your Garchomp. If you let your Garchomp get burned, you're literally throwing. You're literally throwing. I don't know why people think they can just switch in physical attackers on Scald, but apparently it works. Holy moly. If they sub here, we're in a bad spot. If they EQ here, we're in a bad spot. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch in the Rotom. I'll play standard. I'll play very standard for this first iteration of what they're trying to do here. If they wanna sub us, I think I'll trick. All right, cool, cool. We could probably just trick them anyways. We could just trick you. They'd be stuck using that. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use trick. No, wait, that wouldn't work. I'll just go for a hydro. I don't care. Hydro's a lot of damage, so we take these. Hydro. A ticket to a better night's sleep. Big deeps. Oh my gosh, so low. Outrage. Ow. Oh, is it a crit? Oh my god, never lucky. That's ass for me. That's very, very, very... Okay, they're orbed. Okay, I was like, you have to lose this Garchomp, man. I don't mind losing my Rotom to an Outrage crit. Um, if they lose their Garchomp for Because remember, now I can actually use Electric Attacks. Let's see, what are they going to send out? They haven't gotten Rocks up, so I wouldn't be surprised if Heatran came out. But now that they don't have Garchomp, like, there's nothing that really stops me from just going Tentacruel. Let's think about their team. They have Scizor, I can Scald that. Heatran, I can Scald that. Gengar will get KO'd. Suicune gets sludge waved um so kiss gets sludge waved like we're in a really good really, really good spot here we've already talked about how good tentacruel is in these matchups the fact that you don't have your guard trump anymore means i can be a big bully with my anti-meta tentacruel and the only way thing we really lose to is like an earth power crit because this should be a three shot there's the ep huh. Ooh. hmm let's see how much do you that did about it's about 55 percent can't just lose here. Are you lefties too? You're not. All right. So I should just, as long as I don't low roll it here, I should KO you with this Scald. You might switch into something like Scizor. Again, you shouldn't just be switching in your physical attackers, bro. Maybe switch in Suicune. I would love a burning your Suicune. Like we definitely would take those. Now let's 
see though. Not out of the woods yet. Bye bye, Heatran. Yo, peace out. That Heatran took a ton of damage there too, which is really nice. Togekiss. Alright. Do I care about this? I'd still love a burn. Because I want it. I want it all. Yeah, you're just giving me leftover sticks right now. And I should be using a black sludge. I know I should. I just don't have one yet. But I don't know. Let's see what happens. I probably should just switch. Let's go for the sludge wave. Let's see. We're base 100 mon. They have to be. Yeah, they have to be really, really really aggressive to be able to you know outspeed us from there oh can we get a poison though i've never once gotten it never ever lucky never we're fine uh we're actually gonna be able to get hit with rapid spin which is sick give me this rapid spin ko yo we're just gonna be out here getting speed boost for days let's go tentacruel yo calm nature ain't never even heard of it give me that speed boost baby we take those. That's right. Tentacruel. Absolute beast right now. This thing's calced after a rapid spin of outspeed base 115s. So we're just in a really good spot with this Tentacruel. As long as we don't low roll the Heatran with a Scald. And so Gengar's a waste. Scissor would risk getting burned. Suicune just doesn't really work that well versus Tentacruel. Gengar's up. So we're just gonna we're just gonna Ice Beam this because we don't need Ice Beam versus any of their mods. So that if we want something to get Cursed Body, it's gonna be that one. Hope we don't get Quick Claw Destiny bonded. <laughs> yeah, we do be taking these Tentacruel big out here. Like I said, I've been practicing for that Smog on tournament. I really think Tentacruel is like the truth. The truth and justice. And anti-meta goodness. So tent or, and also, like the fact that their Togus is down, now they have nothing to really check our Garchomp. So we're just in a great spot here. Like, singles can be so fun if you really look into the intricacies of, like, how to create pins. It can be so much fun. Yeah, in this situation, I don't really know what I should be doing. Because, like, I don't know if I should be afraid of Suicune. I'm going to go for one Sludge Wave to see how much it does. And I don't want to get burned, but, like, from a Scald. And I don't want to get Calm Mind on, but we'll see what they're actually rocking. All right, it's going to be Calm Mind set. Okay. So they're going to be rocking, like, a Rest... Rest Talk set, probably. It's not as good in this game because... The uh, pressure, which is its hidden ability, is not unlocked yet. But let's see. We have Tentacruel, which is pretty actually good versus Suicune, because eventually I'll crit, right? We have Blissey, which is okay. Alexam does good damage with Psy Shock. Hmm. Azelf's okay as well. I'm gonna switch the Az Elf in. Because Az Elf's like hot garbage for the rest of their team. So like I'm gonna switch it in and just start going for Thunderbolts. It'll force you to start going for Scalds. And we'll be able to get you low enough to send out Garchomp and use Earthquake. Ooh, they read it on the Scald! They Scald it on that turn. That's crazy. Never ever lucky Az Elf. Do I want a Rocks here? You have Suicune. He transits or no, it's not worth it to Rocks. Yeah, we'll just go for Thunderbolt. Just fodder the Az Elf here and then send out Garchomp and probably be okay. The same we did, definitely, maybe. Yeah, so, second Scald. That was a good play going for the Scald. I really thought they were going to Calm Mind again. I guess we could actually send out Alexam too. Alexam's not a bad play. But we're just throwing Mons away in this late game versus Suicune, just because we know we probably have it locked up with Tentacruel. The only issue I have here is, like, even if we do get the KO with this, it's going to be hard to deal with Scizor, I think. And a Nasty Plot here, since it's better to use Nasty Plot than two Psy Shocks. And then we'll just use Psy Shock and be fine. We actually don't want to use the Psy Shock because I don't think that thing has leftover, so it might have like a Pinch Berry or something. And remember, even if they get a Burn with Skull, we have Magic Guard, so we're fine. Yeah, it doesn't. We don't take damage from Burns, so we big busted. Show me that Psy Shock. And if they send out Scissor. We'll switch in Garchomp. They'll go for the BP. They'll take some Rough Skin damage. We'll set up a Sword Dance. Win the game from there. Withdrawing, huh? Okay. Okay, yeah, you're just gonna lose your Heatran, because, like, you can't switch in on this with Heatran. You can switch on the Psy Shock, but then we just Shadow Ball. Oh my god. We don't even need to use Shadow Ball. It's still fine to use Shadow Ball, because it's good versus Scizor and stuff like that, too. And we take these. And then you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna send up the Scizor, we'll send up the Garchomp, and then we'll win. And we will win. I'm not trying to take this one at a time. I'm trying to speed this one up for you guys. I do my best to make the best content for you guys. Now let's see. Show me that Scizor. They might SD this turn. Do I care about SD Scizor? 
have like four moms, they have two? So if they if they SD here, Garchomp's not that happy. But if they bullet punch, I can bring in the Garchomp and just set up the SD set up my own SD and be fine. See, it's actually better to stay in. If you want to bullet punch me, be my guest. That's right. Because now, even if you do get your SD, you'll be too low to do anything with it. X is whoa, not even SD. That's fine. That's totally fine. Your Garchomp just comes in and wins the game from this situation, though. Hell, even Blissey's like really good here. You know, we could just use my boy Tentacruel. No, it's fine. I'm gonna use Garchomp. Garchomp! I will not be denied. The absolutely massive EQ EQ baby. Bullet punch. Take the rough skin damage all the way to the bank. Oof, that did a lot. I should have just sword stance that would have been funny. Because they would have killed himself like from rough skin before actually KOing my Garchomp. <laughs> but let's see. Suicune might not get one shotted and then can go for a rest. And that can that's when it can get a little bit dicey, because we know it has Calm Mind, we know it has Scald. I guess it has Rest Sleep Talk, it doesn't have Ice Beam, but I don't want to get burned either. So if we see it rest, then we'll sub. Just because they'd have to use Sleep Talk into the into the Scald in that situation. So we're, we're just gonna go for the standard tied and true EQ in case they do have Ice Beam instead of like a rest set. So what do you got, you? Oh, we just take it out. That's fine. Hey, we take those. We take those. You crit me earlier. I didn't crit you back. But you crit my Rotom earlier. And you know what? We do be taking those. Man, Tentacruel is so good against things like Clefable. We didn't see any Gliscors today, but it's good versus Gliscor. It's good versus Heatran. It baits the Latioses in. It baits the Garchomps in. We use Blissey to check those things. It's super, super good. I'd highly recommend you guys trying out a Tentacruel in your own games. Guys, don't forget to answer the question of the day, letting me know what's the best thing you've got going on in your life at the moment. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys next time.